science can describe how gravity works, but can they describe why it works? In science, if we can describe how something works and predict its future behavior, we claim to understand it and we move on. You can ask deeper questions about it. Why is there gravity? What is the meaning? What is the purpose? And go ahead, but I'm good with what I've done and I can land a spacecraft on Mars inside of a crater in a hole in one using my understanding of gravity. So I'm pretty good with it. Okay. So, so Newton was deeply puzzled by how you can have something called, in which he coined the phrase action at a distance. Okay. He wrote down the equation that worked. He wrote down the equation. The moon goes around the earth. Earth goes around the sun. The moons of Jupiter go around Jupiter. He accurately described that with his equations of gravity. Okay. He said, one day, I think we're going to find some way that they're connecting to each other, but I don't know what that is right now, but I know my equations work. Fast forward 250, 230 years, get to Albert Einstein. Um, gravity is the curvature of space and time. And you're moving on the curvature of that fabric. That's gravity. So there's no need to think of it as an action at a distance. So matter tells space how to curve. Space tells matter how to move. It moves along the curvature of space. You don't need an action at a distance. There is no action. It's like you have a funnel and you take a ball and you roll it on the funnel. The ball can only do what that funnel tells it to do. If you give it a sideways motion, it'll start spinning around. There's no magic hand coming in there. It is following the curvature of its space-time continuum, this construct that you provided for it. I can describe what gravity is doing. I even have a mechanism for it. Are you gonna still ask me why is there gravity? Is that answer not fulfilling enough to you, even in the why department? You can say, well, why would a particle curve space? But is there a point where, where you'll be satisfied with the answer? Oh, that answers my why. I can say, well, why did this half liter of water drop off the edge here? Well, it's no longer the forces are imbalanced. And it's a, no, but why did it fall? Well, there's nothing holding it up. Why did it? There's a point where it's not especially productive to continue to think about the world that way. Because I, what, I'm, what I'm claiming is answers to the how, when you understand the how enough, are tantamount to having answered the why question. Why does matter and energy curve the fabric of space and time? You, you can ask that. That's a frontier. We're still working on that.